So let's put this at the start of the video. <laughs> Tonight's Uber Eats is brought to you by the letters T, U, M, and S. That's the antacid for when I get angry and upset and everything at people. And that should tell you how tonight's going. Okay, so it is Friday night, just after seven. I just reset the odometer to zero. And uh, I'm starting a little bit later tonight than I normally do, but it was my in-law's birthday and we had a lot going on. So tonight is going to be Uber Eats. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try and give it a good solid two and a half, three hours, depending on how the night goes. Well, you, well I guess we'll find out. So stick with me on this ride. Let's uh, try and make some moolah if we can. Okay, so I just got my first hit and I have to turn around because it's at Harvey's and I was just on my way to my in-laws because I have to drop off the Tupperware from the uh, dinner that we just had. Anyway, you know, it's funny. I was just going to say something about how much I like to Uber Eats, but then I got distracted because there's this car beside me. And here's the thing, like in Ontario where I am, it's illegal to use your cell phones while driving because they consider it to be uh, distracted driving. So both your hands kind of have to stay away from electronics. So as I talk into this, or as I'm talking right now, this camera is actually attached to the dash. So I don't actually touch it except to press the button on and off at the top. But then when I look beside me, when I was growing up, obviously I'm a, I'm a much older person, when I was growing up, since we didn't have cell phones, if someone was looking down on their crotch, I would assume that since they're, now I'd assume that they're looking at their cell phones. Back then, I would assume that they are actually rolling a joint. And the car beside me, I think, was actually rolling a joint. Which, by the way, weed is going to be legal in Ontario, well, in Canada, on um, October 17th, I think it is. So if you're an American, and you're thinking of coming up here for a vacation, save it for after October because it's going to be a whole different world. Come on up, spend your tax and your tax dollars. Spend your tourism money on our tax dollars because we're going to tax the shit out of you. Now, where was I going? So yeah, I just got a uh, request now. So Uber Eats just popped up. I'm not going to... I'm not, my plan tonight is to show you basically how the app works. Like how I collect an order, how I navigate through it, and how I go pick it up. But since I know exactly where this place is and I didn't really have time to navigate into it, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go there and grab the order and drop it off at the customers. That is my plan, anyway. Okay, let's uh, let's go into the restaurant. Hi, pick it up. One three two zero four. That dude really likes his gravy. Sorry? That dude really likes his gravy. <laughs> yep. There you go. Well, they'll die young. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened was I picked up the order. I'm not going to show you the customer's name, but it's at this restaurant. Everything's good. I click on next. Now it's going to show me I can start the trip here, which I'm going to do. I slide it over. I'm not going to show you where his address is, but it's not that far, really. Okay, so once I complete the trip, it's going to say, okay, that took 20 minutes. I've done one trip. And it's going to show me $7.19. $7.19 cents for me to deliver some poutine. That's a crazy amount of money. Okay, now I'm slightly lost. Not really. Now I'm on my way to my in-laws to drop off this. Uh, they're going to the States tomorrow, so i got to drop off some U.S. cash. We'll see if any orders pop up between now and then. And it's uh, 7.26, so I've been doing this just 25 minutes, maybe 23 minutes. Something like that. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes since the last order. It's now 7.46 and nothing's happened. When did I leave that order? 7.26, so about 20 minutes, give or take. 
and now I'm entering construction because Brampton. So I'm going to go downtown. I'm going to drive to downtown Brampton and see if anything pops up. But so far, I've been doing this about 45 minutes and I've had one order for a grand total of $7.19. I haven't really gone through a lot of gas. I did drop the uh, stuff off to my mother-in-law that I need to stop off or drop off. Hopefully they'll have a good trip tomorrow. The days are getting shorter though. I do notice that now that it's August. But the sunsets are just turning more and more beautiful. Too bad I can't share it with you. All right, well, let's see if anything else pops up. We're going to hang out downtown, and I'll give it about a half hour at least, because I don't want to just do this for one shift. I mean, or not one shift, but one order, because that will be a huge waste of time. That is one difference, though, I do like between Uber Eats and um, Skip the Dishes. At least Skip the Dishes will kind of pop up and say, hey, listen, just stay there, relax. You know, we're searching for orders for you. Uber Eats, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like it shows where I am and shows any kind of uh, surge or boost that's going on. And it doesn't look like there's much going on because it says uh, earn 1.1 times from 6 to 8 p.m. Well, it's almost 8 p.m. We'll see what pops up after 8 p.m., I guess. Literally the second that I turned that off, an order popped up to go back to McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay, here's the problem with McDonald's. One, I don't think they start making the order until you show up. And two, I haven't had this happen yet, but I've heard that they assume that me, like you or us as the driver, that we are going to make the drinks, which I am not going to make the drinks. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to make the drinks. It's because uh, you don't see where my hand goes when I'm not making these videos. I could be scratching my happy bits I could be picking my nose. I'm holding my steering wheel. I'm not exactly washing my hands before I go in there to pick up the food. What I usually do when I pick up the food is I like the person who works there to put the food inside the bag, to basically put the lotion inside the basket so that I don't have to touch it. And the reason I don't want to touch it is because I know that my hands are all over the place here and I don't want to be responsible for giving the the buyer any anything you know in fact even that last order I held open the bag I'm like can you grab your bag please because you know I just I wouldn't want some stranger handling my food what's this dude doing red okay let's go to McDonald's thank you Oh, Hello. BBA6B? Yes. Okay, so I went in there, picked everything up, no problem. So I gotta check the check marks, and yes, I picked up. Uh, thumbs up, I guess. It's pretty quick. And now I'm going to go to this person's house. Head northeast on Queen Street, east toward Regional Road 107. It doesn't seem to be that far. Question is, am I going towards the 410? I am. So I'm going that way. I hate turning left out of here. Okay, so this is another one of those apartments. Which I'm not going to deliver it to. So how long do I give her to come down and get this food or do I get free food? How long do I give them? Welcome to Uber. Please enter the number associated with your Uber account starting with the country code. Mike with Uber Eats. I have your meal downstairs. Okay, can you come up? I'm afraid I can't because I actually have to meet someone in just a few minutes. Can I meet you down in the foyer? Can you put... Sorry? Can I meet you in the foyer? Um, 
Thanks. Okay, let's see if this happens. So you can also hit customer not available and they can wait for five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do now. Wish I knew about that earlier. Hi. Uh, Hi, you're Vivian? Michael. Yes. There you go. So sick of apartment buildings. Okay, so that was another seven dollar deal. So it's been about an hour and ten minutes. I'm at fourteen dollars. Still not exactly worthwhile. And I'm blocking traffic. So I just got my third order and it's just around the corner here, so it's not too far from where I just did the drop off. It's literally, I wouldn't say a stone's throw, but pretty close. So now it's 821 and that's my third order. I'm just gonna go pick it up now at a place called the Sunrise Caribbean Restaurant. I've been to Sunrise before, actually I kinda like them. So I'm gonna go uh, pop in there, get the order and let's get out of here. That's the sunset I was talking about. Anyway, two minutes ago, roughly, maybe five, four, three, I just saw a um, Toyota Venza minivan, car, whatever you want to call it, wagon. Unmarked, though, it was unmarked, it was a black Venza. And it pulled over two cars back at the lights. I don't know if my dash cam caught it or not, we'll have to see. But that was rather unusual, because I've never seen an unmarked Venza before. So one more thing to keep my eyes open for. No pedestrians? Okay. Saigon House, pizza. Pretty sure I'm in the right plaza. Beef teriyaki. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is actually my favorite plaza in Brampton. Even though, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the parking lot of it. It has uh, one of my, two of my favorite stores here. It has the Canada Computers, which is a great, fantastic place. And if I could ever get something free off them that they want me to review, well, I'm your guy. You know how to find me. And secondly, they have a really good value village here. Uh, shit, dude, sorry I'm taking that spot. Like that person just gave me the dirty looks. I just took the last parking spot. But, finders keepers. Losers weepers. Okay, pick up one order. Jerk chicken dinner, a festival, and a fried dumpling. 7A something 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 something. Yes. Okay, so here's the thing about Brampton that you should know. <laughs> There's lots of jerk restaurants and all of them are good. A few of them are awesome. I've never eaten at that one in particular. I have eaten at Sunrise before and I like it. You know, it's kind of like the kind of like a franchise of jerk food, I guess, Jamaican food. It's good, but <laughs> there's some great ones here. This place has officially fallen off the map. This is 11. What the fuck? Allstrom. 
Is this it? Number three. Can this guy make this place any harder to find? Hey. Dude, this place is... <laughs> But it could be worse. The one place I won't go into is condos and apartments. <laughs> I don't blame you. And I swear. Okay, that was poor planning on, I don't know if it's his part or Uber's part or what. But, pain in the ass. So that was my third trip, correct? Three trips. I made $6.05 off that. So we are now at $20.69. And I, when did I start? Just after seven? So an hour and a half. Could be worse. 20 bucks isn't too bad for what I've done. I've gone through maybe five bucks in gas. And I put on how many kilometers? 33? That can't be right. Maybe 33. Yeah, 33 kilometers. That's like what 20 miles? Maybe 20 miles. Alright, let's get back to it. Okay, so just got order number four. Uh it happened like two minutes after I left order number three. It's now 843. 843. And it is about uh, just down there on the corner. It's an A&W, which I had no idea it was here. I had no idea there's an A&W down here. Hello. Yes. Now it's funny, hot drinks pose a problem. There is a coffee back there, but... Okay. That's it, over there. We're back up there. Okay, 8.53. What did I say this was, my fourth order? Of course, they just texted me saying, can I take it to this order? Now, 8.55, I guess that's this one. Hello? Hi, uh, it's Mike from Uber Eats. Hi, uh, sir. Do... So, okay. where does it need to go? Is that a business? No, it's a house. It's a house? Okay. Now, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. You're the guy? Yeah. Okay, I got your stuff. Okay. Thanks. Are you being serious? Yeah. Do I have to call your cell number? Huh? Do I have to call your cell number? No, I can't. Are you Chan? Yeah, he's my friend on the phone. Okay, I'm gonna go knock on the door because I don't trust you. Yeah, come. Oh, now he turns the lights on. Okay. So what happened there was, uh, is this even recording? I think it's your girl. So what happened there was that the customer was not at the location I was going to, and they sent me somewhere else. So what I did was I put it on that five minute timer of customer not available, and then I started to drive up the road to where this guy was. Now what happened when I got there is that there's no lights or anything on the house. I couldn't find the house and there was an accident in front of me. So at that point I was too busy, well I was trying to focus on what was going on around me because all the traffic had stopped and it was difficult to determine where I was house-wise because I couldn't see the numbers. Then I did see one number, uh, I saw 149 so I did a U-turn in the driveway and now here's where I'm going to get a little off topic. So Chan. When you think of the name Chan, I do not associate that name with a young guy, a young sick guy, sick, not Sikh, uh, wearing a turban. I don't associate those two names together. So I pulled up there and he's like, I'm like, are you the guy? He's like, yeah, I'm the guy. I'm like, you don't look like the guy. And then uh, apparently he's on the phone with Chan, I guess. So I ended up giving him the food and I just 
call it a night. But I think what happened was since I didn't click off the five minute timer in time, it looks like it canceled the trip when I got paid for it. So is he gonna get dinged twice? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But um, I'm sitting now at $26.72, it's 9.13. I've been doing this for two hours. $26, that's 13 bucks an hour minus the five bucks or whatever I've done in gas and just general, I wanna say hassle, maybe. So that's not a very good night for this, 13 bucks an hour, that's kind of shitty. I might try and see if there'll be one more that pops up because I'd love to hit 40 bucks or even 30, 35 bucks before the end of the night. Okay, so I just, I know it's crooked, sorry. So I just got one more order. So this is order number five. I know where it is. We've been there before. Green light, pedestrians. Y'all look out for everybody. All right, let's go to this restaurant. So it says it's about 10 minutes away. 10 minutes that way. And it's funny because I just started driving downtown and I could go back there through that bit of construction again for the third or fourth time tonight. I, swear, I, know, I know the app's not doing this on purpose, but it sure is testing my last nerve tonight. And I may have to add this at the start of the video instead of the end of the video, but when I do my little monologue at the end, I might sound a little bitter. So let's put this at the start of the video. <laughs> Tonight's Uber Eats is brought to you by the letters T, U, M, and S. That's the antacid for when I get angry and upset and everything at people. And that should tell you how tonight's going. Now, back to our regularly programmed food delivery. Okay, there are cops everywhere tonight for some reason. Well, it is Friday of a long weekend, I guess. That does make sense. Anyway, so this order took me from downtown, went to the restaurant. The restaurant was actually closed for the one time I didn't take my camera with me. But that's no big deal either. So since the restaurant was closed, I just knocked on the window and held up my bag. And the dude brought the food out to me. So now I'm going to deliver the food. And I know exactly where it is. I've been here a thousand times because it's where I walk my dog all the time. So I think after this, I'm gonna call it a day though, because I'm actually pretty close to home. It's 9.30. It's not exactly, you know, rainy money out there. So I think this would be my last order once I drop it off. We'll see if something pops up like right away. If it doesn't pop up right away, then screw it. Okay, so this is another work customer who is literally in the middle, like it tells me to stop in the middle of the street. This is the Chrysler factory. And then over there is another factory. Yeah, this is my last order. You guys that order this food at your workplace, can you make it a bit more obvious and maybe come out and see me and shit like that? I'm sorry, I can't take your call right now, but please leave a message at the time. Hey Troy, it's Mike from Uber Eats. I don't know how many times you want me to drive around the security office here, but I'm starting to wear grooves in the pavement. So I'm not sure where you are. I don't know if I turn left or go right, or do I turn straight? I'm not sure what's going on here. So uh, I met the security guy. There's no security guy here. I'm just driving around him though. I might start driving around him backwards though, just to change things up a little bit. So if you're around, you know, I'm out here. I'm sorry, I can't take your call right now, but please leave a message at the time. Hey Troy, it's Mike from Uber Eats again. I have no idea what turnstile you're talking about, to be honest. If I turn right, I'm blocked off by cones. And if I turn left, I can't go down there at all. And if I go straight, there's nothing down there but trucks. So I don't know how long you want me to hang out here. And I can't, I saw you texting me, but I can't text back. I'm afraid I don't have that option from this phone. So I need to either answer the phone. I added the detail. I'm sorry, I can't take your call right now, but please leave a message at the time. 
Hi Troy, it's Mike from Uber Eats. I seriously don't know what you're talking about here. I do not see a car park. If you're referring to the staff parking garage or parking lot, I don't think I can get in there. All I can see is where the trucks go into. Do I turn left? Yeah, I'm Troy. Troy. Sorry, yeah, there's one engine stuck up there. That's the way, that's the stop sign I was talking about. Okay, so here's the thing. That last drop off took me about 30 minutes because the customer dropped the pin at the wrong location. It was a large factory. It's where they make Chrysler cars, basically where they make cop cars. And I drove in there and basically he kept telling me to turn right. So I kept turning right, but that took me into a locked area of the customer parking. So the pin was at the wrong location. I went into the wrong driveway. And it took me half an hour of just constant texting and calling and I'm like, do I just call this a day because I'm done with this shit. So that wasted a half hour of me driving around and I just got frustrated. So it's past 10 o'clock now, I'm calling it a night I made, um, let's see how much here. Total earnings for the night, $42.04. I might have spent, geez, I think I did like 40 or 50 kilometers in my car. I might have spent maybe five, maybe 10 bucks of gas tops. So we're at $42.04. That was with five trips. And two of those I marked as I could not find. Because you figure, there's a guy that, okay, there's Chrysler. There's the guy who changed the address halfway through. The other guy who worked at a factory that wasn't even on the map. There's the condo or the apartment building where they want me to go up and I wasn't going to go up. And then there's the first order, which was nice and easy. <laughs> so out of five orders, four of them were a right royal pain in the ass. So that's my experience with Uber Eats. I hope tomorrow night's better because tomorrow night's going to be Skip the Dishes here in Brampton and that's going to be from 7.30 at night to 11.30 at night. But Uber Eats, you are just really, really pissing me off. I'm seriously, I'm starting to have some real serious issues with you. Anyway, that's it. That's it for tonight. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 40 bucks over three hours. Uh, what's that work out to? Like 13, 33 an hour? Maybe a bit more? It's pretty shitty, man. So, so far, I'm not too impressed with Uber Eats in this city. We're 600,000 people. But, um, hey, listen, we'll be back. We'll keep making these videos. Let me know what you think. If this is the kind of video you like, leave a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, subscribe. Feel free to share this with your homies. And uh, we'll talk again. Thanks for watching.